Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Talking Horses. With us is Sonny Gargiulo and, of course, America. We never actually told everybody the horse's name, so tell us a little bit about America. America is a three-year-old sorrel. He's from the Maverick Medicine Herd in Nevada. He was gelded six months ago. And he is the horse that I, I'm going to be using for the Midwest Mustang Challenge. Yeah. He is an incredible horse. Tell us why the challenge is so important to you. Well, the challenge is important to me because anyone um, who has any love for horses obviously doesn't want to see a horse slaughtered, you know, for no apparent reason. So for me as a horseman, it's very important that, you know, and it's very, it's an honor for me to be involved in this you know, to help to help this cause in some way is a way for me to give back a little bit. But it's also an honor too, because we have to let everybody know Sonny is the only one from Long Island representing um, in the Mustang Challenge, but you're also the only one in the whole New England area. That's correct. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty incredible. That's yeah, it's that's pretty. pretty... It's kind of cool. Um, Easy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, um, you know this 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 challenge is very important because it brings, uh, it, it brings awareness um, uh. to the country. You know, like we said before, we have 28,000, we have land for 28,000 Mustangs, mm -hmm. but we have more. We need to get them adopted. You're also doing an incredible thing here on Long Island. You're sharing this whole experience with everyone. Tell us about uh, that. Well, listen, Long Island is, um, is a great horse community. You know, we've got a lot of great horse people here, a lot of great trainers. But when you go out west, you, you don't, people don't think of New York, Long Island as horse country, mm -hmm. you know? You know, obviously we have the Hampton Classics, which is, is an amazing event. Mm -hmm. um, but really, that's that's really what we're known for. As far as you know, here on Long Island, it's very important for me. And what I've been doing with this horse, uh, America, is bringing him around the island, bringing him to different barns, bringing him to barns that are, are western-based, bringing him to barns that are, are, are show jumping-based, bringing him to bars that are, are barns that are um, not bars. I'm not bringing him to bring bring bars. bars. Yeah. <laughs> Take him to the bar, <laughs> challenge. You know, but, um, <laughs> Get a good you beer. Know, <laughs> bringing him to, to uh, you know, dress, to, uh, dressage bonds. Trying to bring all the communities together a little bit. It's really, for me, it's a way to kind of have everyone rally around this cause. Mm -hmm. you know? And also on Long Island here, it's very, very difficult to get everyone together to address issues. You know, when we have something going on in the horse community here, uh, it's very hard to get all the communities together mm -hmm. as opposed to... Either know, just the dressage or just the raining. Or, or, just the barrel races. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've been bringing him around. He, he's been well accepted, and everyone likes to see a wild Mustang, right. and, you know, and it, it's great. Everyone loves him. I mean, you've actually, I've seen you uh, at the Thomas School. You've had a student get on him. Yeah, yeah. You're really sharing. Everyone seems to love him. Yeah, I mean, I, I've brought him, you know, out to Hillcrest Stables. I brought mm -hmm. him Hillcrest, yeah, sure. I, I brought him here to Bethpage. Yeah. You know, I brought him just about everywhere right. I can bring him. Right. You obviously have to travel with him. So that yeah. brings up a topic that I think at some point or another, every horseman has run into an issue, some trailer loading issues. Um, what techniques, I mean, obviously he's standing in the trailer right now, but what techniques did you use to, oh, I mean, he's a wild Mustang. How did you get him into the trailer? Well, I mean, you have to remember when they, when they ran him in, they just kind of run him in. Mm -hmm. You know, they chase him into the trailer. And sometimes, you know, they're a nervous wreck in there. So I wanted to really have him feel comfortable being in the trailer. It's very important for me to have a horse that trail loads well. I do a lot of that, teaching horses to trail load, because if you can't trail load your horse, you're a prisoner. Right, it's, yeah, it can be, and yeah. trail load could be a nightmare. If yeah. you don't, if you have a horse that's difficult to trail load, it right. could be. And, and when, you, when you look at the trailer, I mean, really, what is the difference between the trailer and the stall? Right, you know, that's a good point. the horse to go in somewhere and him feeling comfortable enough to go in there. You know, once you take away the unknown, then the horse will go right. Why is it that some horses are so afraid to go into trailers? The unknown. Okay. You know, they don't know what's, what's, what's in there. And it's a funny thing. Horses are kind of funny in a way. You know, I've worked with horses off the track that were, you know, trailered all over the country and maybe sit in a barn for three years and try to get them on a trailer. You know, the, the people try to put them on and they flip over. They don't, they don't want to get on. They're afraid. It's really a matter of the horse feeling comfortable. You know, it comes right back to natural horsemanship uh, and the philosophies of it that the horse will do anything for you. Uh, you just have to know how to ask, and you need and you need to explain it to the horse. You know, if I if I try to jam him in this trailer, if I you know my technique obviously isn't to you know beat him into the trailer. Uh, obviously, it's not you know throw throw a rope around his butt, mm -hmm. drag him in, any of that stuff. It's one hoof at a time, I, really. I want, it's one step, one hoof at a time, yeah. right? Um, and and the most important thing that I tell people with trailer loading is that, especially if it's your horse. You know, you have, you're not going anywhere with your horse. If it takes you two days to trail your horse and quietly and safely, 
and do it. You know, what's the difference? It takes two days or mm. an hour. I mean, honestly, most of the horses I teach the trail load, I do it in 40 minutes. Right. But if it took me two days, I would do it. Right. Because uh, in the end result is that the horse will stand quietly in the trailer, mm. and the horse will jump into to the trailer quietly and feel <laughs> nice. <laughs> In the trail. Right. That's what I'm looking for. Right. Uh, what I did with this guy here, uh, the strategy I had with him, um, was to. We'll let you out in a second, partner. Was to. Um, Should we tell him to go to sleep now? <laughs> <laughs> this is his home. You know? Right. So after I taught him the trail load, part of the competition, what I need to do there <laughs> is to get him into a trailer quietly. Uh, so I wanted to use the trailer as his stall so that when I get to the competition, he mm -hmm. can just jump right in. Right. And that you have him now going from like 10 feet out, you said, and he just runs right yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll, you know, hey, look, we, we did a show with Sis did some tricks, and mm -hmm. we saw this guy lay down, I'll show you some of the stuff he does now, but um, the reality is they're not really tricks. Yeah. You know, what's the difference if I ask America at this point in the trailer right here to get in, uh, as opposed to back there? Right. If I teach him. You know, to run in from back there, mm -hmm. he's going to run in from back there. Right. We've all seen it. Uh, right, I mean, sure. I've been to dude ranches. You know, they open up the trailer door. The horses are out in the pasture. They mm -hmm. run in from the pasture and run into the mm -hmm. trailer. Why not my horse? Why right. not your horse? Right, sure. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not tricks. It's cues. It's just cue. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll talk more about the riding that you've been doing, and maybe you could show off for us a little bit. What do you think? Sure. Sonny pushes my cheeks every single day, but but if he he doesn't win, I get to pitch his cheeks for 100 days. <laughs> 